admit it, you tricked your parents into getting to buy at least one of these for you, didn't ya? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 inappropriate video games you probably played as a kid. I'm a king! Oh, really? Yeah. That bitch threw me out. Just to be clear, we love violence, nudity, and explicit language as much as the next motherfucker. But let's all agree that some of the following titles should not be enjoyed by those with single-digit ages. Even if we did so ourselves. <laughs> and if you're currently too young to be playing these games, but you're still doing it anyway, well, nobody cares, kid. Stay in school. Put your and go already. Number 10, Doom. When released over 20 years ago, Doom was a huge success. It received praise from critics and was extremely popular, acquiring over 20 million players within its first two years of release. How much do you want to bet that a solid chunk of those were kids? Heck, one of them was me. This was really the perfect storm. Not only was the first third of the game widely available as shareware, but a lot of parents probably didn't even know that video games could even be this violent at the time. Things would get worse in the future, but there were probably quite a few kids that got night terrors from hours and hours of blasting the denizens of hell. Number 9, Turok Dinosaur Hunter. When released in 1997 for the Nintendo 64, Turok was praised for its realistic graphics, which, you guessed it, definitely contained realistic violence with tons of blood. Actually, the dinosaur parts weren't even all that bad. It was the humans that you start off killing that really drove it home. Dudes who you shot in the throat would spurt blood from the wound before the poor bastard would gargle and convulse themselves to death. As many professional critics cautioned children from playing the game. Of course, this sort of thing made for great stories on the playground, making it that much more appealing than Mario Kart. Number 8, God of War. As badass as Kratos is, his actions are certainly not for the prying eyes of children. The game literally starts with two topless women being kicked out of Kratos' bed after an implied threesome, and the nudity never really lets up from there. I mean, those Greek goddesses clearly don't have any reservations about their supernatural bodies. But stray boobies are not really the only thing to worry about, as the game became most famous for its visceral, detailed violence aided by the quick time events that really make you feel like you were participating. Definitely not for kids. Number 7, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Okay, so if you like the series, that's totally cool. And if you hate it, well, good on you too, but just don't make a YouTube video about how much you hate it because you're going to have to shut down the comment section before you know it. Anyway, the words beach volleyball are pretty much synonymous with scantily clad ladies, making it a match made in heaven for a fighting series known for the exact same thing. Heck, you can't even tell your parents you're playing it for the plot. You'd better just hope you have a good lock on your door and uh, both hands on the controller at all times, okay kiddo? Number 6, Call of Duty series. So, there's definitely more violent shooters out there. Call of Duty is just so damn popular that it's bound to be the one that all the youngins want to play. So, beyond the fact that it's a game where, you know, you go to war and you shoot people, the series also features some pretty intense psychological moments that could easily scare or disturb a kid, including, but not limited to, a massacre of innocent civilians at an airport, a protagonist being burned alive, and a character slowly dying while witnessing the devastation of a nuclear bomb. <sighs> Anyway, all that being said, if you're a parent, good luck convincing your kids that Splatoon is just as fun. Number 5, Duke Nukem 3D. Okay, so Doom was pretty cool, but you know what was even better? Duke 3D. And I say that because Duke had a much more relatable, real-world feel which in turn meant that our on-screen protagonist could pee in toilets, crack hilarious and often explicit one-liners, and shoot loads of dudes in the face. Am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, boobies, duh! 
you could go to strip clubs, hand the strippers cash, and then see some heavily pixelated boobies. Who would ever want to go play Mario ever again when I can have blood, gore, funny jokes, and boobies in one game? Shareware struck again, and we were never the same. God, you're pathetic. You wanna dance? Number four, Mortal Kombat series. <laughs> Even though the series spans decades, there wasn't anything like the controversy and kickback that these games caused in the early 90s. People had never really seen anything like this, and the game was so controversial that it led to the creation of the ESRB and generated political discussions about the corruption of society due to violent video games. Understand that these are not harmless toys. So, obviously, all the kids wanted to play it. Unfortunately, the game caused such a stir that most of our parents had heard about it in the paper before we could get them to rent it for us. But we all knew that one buddy whose parents had had a divorce and whose dad let them play whatever they wanted, and that kid almost always had Mortal Kombat. Oh! Number three, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Love you. <laughs> I think she won. So, this is a game that's essentially designed to trick your parents. Conker may look like a cute, cuddly creature, and that game may look like any number of childish adventure games of the N64 era. But don't be fooled, this was certainly not a game for children. And Nintendo even tried to make sure they got that point across by advertising the game's inappropriate nature via disclaimer on the box. But like most mature things, this didn't stop children from getting their hands on it. The game features crude humor in spades, an alcoholic protagonist, sexual content, profanity, and graphic violence in its multiplayer, which by the way was pretty awesome. So as much as Conker might look like him, Banjo-Kazooie, he is not. I am the great mighty Pooh, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. Number two, Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards. This one was a little tougher for us youngsters to figure out. I mean, when you're a kid, you don't even know that Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards has mature connotations and innuendo basically built into the title. Plus, that dude on the front looks like a cartoon character, so it doesn't immediately catch your young eyes as something that's not for you. Then, after you get into the game, you take on the struggles of Larry, as it's actually pretty tough to score through the series of subpar minigames. And, pixelated boobies aside, if you can actually get to them, it's really the humor here that's inappropriate for kids. And it's not the Timmy cover your eyes inappropriate, but it's more the, oh, Timmy won't even understand that kind of inappropriate. Before we shield our children's eyes from our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto series. I'm a freak bitch you don't take home to mama. Hell yeah, hop in! The granddaddy of controversial video games, the GTA series has been causing headaches for parents and authority figures for years. So obviously it's the game that all the kids want to play the most. This series really does contain everything even remotely inappropriate for children, including but not limited to extreme acts of violence against innocent people, gratuitous performances of criminal behavior, prostitution, strip clubs, male nudity, obscene sexual acts, and persistent drug use, among many, many other things. Honestly though, since we covered violence in the other entries, I suppose the real risk here is that kids would start repeating the dialogue they hear in the game. I mean, come on, you really don't want little Jessica to start talking like CJ from Grove Street now, do you? Officer Hernandez, I work with Tenpenny and Pulaski. Oh, the bitch! What the hell you want? So, do you agree with our list? What inappropriate games did you play as a kid? For more family-friendly top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Okay, don't get him, don't get it, don't! Jackie, you retard! Oh.